Hey guys, today I'm gonna make for you blackened chicken, but first we need to make the blackening spice. So let's get over here so I can show you our ingredients so we can get started. Okay, these are our ingredients, but before we get started, um, if you do not wanna make your own blackening seasoning, they do have blackening seasoning on the market. Here's one of them, I have one. The reason why I do make my own is because I wanna control the sodium and I want to control the spice sometimes they're a bit spicy so I don't want mine too spicy so that's why I'm making my own so right here I have regular um, paprika and the paprika is the base so I'm gonna have a little bit more paprika than everything else and then right here is also paprika and these are both two tablespoons but this is actually smoked paprika and you need some kind of kosher salt or sea salt this is the pink um, Himalayan sauce I mean salt this is sugar. I have two tablespoons of brown sugar. You can use brown sugar or white sugar. You can leave that all out, but I put it in there because it actually kind of caramelized the meat when you um, add a little bit of sugar to it. This right here is one tablespoon of thyme, one tablespoon of oregano, one tablespoon of black pepper. You can use either one to two tablespoons of garlic powder. That's about a one and a half. And I have about one and a half tablespoons of the onion powder and that's just depends on, you know, how much you want in there. So I put about one and a half of each. And then this is my cayenne pepper. Usually it's about one to two tablespoons. And like I said, I don't want it really spicy. So that's only about one teaspoon. So let's mix everything together. Okay, I've added everything to this bowl. And I'm just going to mix that up. And you can put this on fish or chicken. We're going to do chicken today. I was just going to do... A few thighs, like four thighs. I think I'm going to throw a couple wings in there too. And you want to try to get all the lumps out of there. And we're going to sprinkle it real, uh, a lot of it, um, liberally uh, on both sides of the chicken. So let me get the chicken. Okay, guys, I mixed it up pretty good. And I even got the bigger whisk out. Um but it's still kind of lumpy to me, so I got out my trusty blender. This is a, um, if you have a spice blender or a coffee blender that you don't use for coffee, because I don't use this for coffee, I use it just for spices. So I'm going to just add this um, to my uh, spice blender and just kind of mix it up more so it's not, I don't want it lumpy. So when I come back, it'll be all mixed up. If not, if you don't have one, just keep taking the whisk going like this and it'll get the lumps out of it. And that's just from the brown sugar. Okay, guys, I just want you guys to see what it looks like when it's being blended up. See, it's getting all those lumps out of there. And you can get one of these spice blenders. This is a pretty good one. You can get... Um, like a little cheap one for less than 20 bucks, but this one costs a little bit more, but. So when I come back, I might be putting this on the chicken. Okay, guys, this is what the uh, spices are looking like. Everything's been ground up quite nicely. So here's my chicken, and I've already cleaned and washed my chicken. And I'm going to take and put some olive oil. I've dried the two. The chicken was wet, and I did make sure that I dried it thoroughly and I want to get this olive oil on both sides because then we're going to put the season on there and I have my pan right over here heating up and it's just a dry pan you don't need to put any oil in your pan there's enough oil in the chicken so I'm going to massage this olive oil and then put uh, this spice on here so let me wash my hands you know, I got so many of these shakers. I just put it in one of these shakers. And so you're gonna just put this all over your chicken. You're gonna put a lot on there now because you're trying to blacken it now. And you want a lot of that seasoning on both sides. Then you're just gonna turn it over and put it on the other side. And then you want that pan really smoking hot um, when you add this chicken. You're going to add it to the pan skin side down. So let me season the bottom of this or the top. Okay, guys, that pan is hot. 
I'm just gonna try to brown them. Like I said, add it skin side down. You're gonna brown both sides, but you wanna wanna do the skin side down first. Then I have the oven set at I think it's what 375. Then I'm just gonna brown it a couple minutes on that side and then brown it on the other side and then put it in the oven. Okay, I browned it on both sides. And I got it in this picture because it's so it's partially done. So I sprayed this with a little bit of uh, cooking spray. And I'm just going to transfer it to this pan. If you was cooking it in a cast iron skillet, well, I guess I can put this in there too, but I'm going to put it in this glass pan. And I'm going to, um, I told you I have it set at 375. So I'm going to cook it really for about uh, 35 minutes. And when I come back, it'll be done and I'll make you a plate. All right, guys, it just came out the oven. I let it rest for about 10 minutes and I paired it with some asparagus tips. Well, actually whole asparagus. And let me get, give you a closer look. That's your blackened chicken. So let me try it for you. And it, it did take the 35 minutes in the oven. Make sure your chicken internal oh, temperature is, oh, that's the bone, at least 165. It's really good. It's not too salty. That's why I like to make my own. Now, if you um use the kind that comes with the, um, like this kind, you might have to adjust your seasonings, but when you make your own, you control what goes in it. But you guys try this recipe for blackened chicken. And like I said, you can also use it for fish. And I'll probably show a video of me using it with the fish. All right. You guys have a great day.